Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. And hello ladies and gentlemen, everyone watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, here we are with another food review. And uh, well, we're back in business trying out these new items again. Today's review is for the Steakhouse Burrito from Taco Bell. Uh, Taco Bell, we know, it always comes out of something new every other week. And this is no exception to it, of course. They came out with a new item this week. It's called the Steakhouse Burrito. And what that really features, of course, is steak. I mean, it, it tries to encompass all the goodies, you know, that you get at a steakhouse. They Taco Bell it up, wrap it in a tortilla, and they serve it to you, the valued customer. Now, this features, of course, Taco Bell's signature steak. Also features bacon bits. Uh, little pieces of bacon, that's what a bacon bit is. Also features a three cheese blend, pieces of potato. Also features, I believe, a little bit of sour cream. And then, of course, their signature queso, uh, which, of course, they have revamped and have significantly publicized. Comes in this nice little box. It's very nice, uh, nicely carved. Carp I'm sorry, my, I'm tongue-tied. Compartmentalized, it is. Got your napkins here, perfect for cleaning up messes with runny noses on this cold day. You got your nice tub of queso. Comes with some nice little chips too, actually. You can dip them in instead of queso. Uh, this, they just put it in there. I wanted to get it anyways. This isn't, you don't usually get one of these. It's a beefy nacho griller. And then here, folks, is the blessed burrito. It's a big one. It is. It's uh, it's plump. So we'll bite it in. We'll try it out, and uh, we'll you know what it tastes like. I got some dental work done today, so this side of my mouth is a little painful. So we're gonna eat on this side today, and I'll let you know what it tastes like anyway. I don't think that'll really change things. So going in. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hmm. Let's take one more bite and then I'll tell you what it tastes like. Now, you think, and you'd be inclined to think, based on what I've said about Taco Bell in the past. Looking at this cross-section of it, you think, well, it's got all this sauce, it's got all this juice, of course it's, it's gonna be too much liquid. It's gonna be, it's gonna drown everything out, right? Except it's not. The thing they did right about this that I really do like is that this queso that they used, this queso specifically right in there, is very flavorful. Now, of course, queso, we know, means cheese. It's a cheese sauce. But it's not just cheese. It's not like they got a can of cheese was sprayed it into a little plastic cup and said, Bon Appetit. They did a little bit more with it, thankfully. See, our friends at Taco Bell, they put in a little bit of jalapeno as well into this queso. And just a simple change in ingredient can really completely overhaul an entire item. Simply adding that jalapeno suddenly made this queso very flavorful, nice spice to it, and really also contributed now to this burrito itself. The steak itself, they did a good job on it today. I can't complain. Very tender, juicy, flavorful. They did a good job. I, it's true. The bacon bits, now that's the one thing you can't really taste too much of, but you can still taste a little bit. You can get a little bit of that nice saltiness from the bacon. The queso itself, though, is really the star of this dish. Adds a nice spiciness overall, a very flavorful, nice spicy kick it adds to this burrito. And uh, the potatoes, you can't really taste too much either. The cheese blend also really mashes everything together well, adds texture to it. Overall, though, this burrito really does taste good. It's very flavorful, very tender, has a spicy kick to it, as I said, and it is very enjoyable, in my opinion. All right, um, 
this came out to the price of six ninety nine, but those are New York inflated prices, of course. So uh, it'll probably be anywhere between four and eight dollars in reality. And the pure queso sauce here, again, very similar to what you're going to be able to taste on this burrito. It has a creamy texture to it and also a spicy kick as well. Okay. Now, that being said, considering the price, considering what it tastes like, and all other factors considered, what am I going to be rating this item, the Steakhouse Burrito from Taco Bell, out of 10? Ladies and gentlemen, out of 10, I'm going to have to rate this item an 8.5 out of 10. You get a good portion size for what you're paying. You get some chips, too. You get some queso sauce. And the burrito itself, even if that's all you're interested in, tastes very good to finish it off. So, overall, I think it's definitely a buy. One of the better items from Taco Bell I've tried. And uh, I'm not disappointed one bit, and I doubt you'll be either. I enjoyed it. I hope you do too, if you want. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Report of the Week. Take care, and have a very happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye.